and welcome board members. For those of you just now joining us, I'm doing the solo run through for Reichholt, the beautiful city in Western Iceland where we are farmers farming for vegetables. In the solo run through, I use two different colors of families. Uh, each, every other round, the blue family and the pink family will be blocking actions that I can't take from the previous round. Uh, one of the major differences in this game is that each round I am awarded one tomato and one free random greenhouse from the random greenhouse stack. Another big difference here is that I cannot use these spaces at all. They are blocked off for the entire game. Those are generally spaces where I get greenhouses. So the trade-off is I get a greenhouse every round, but I can't do these specific actions in order to get more of them. That being said, the most greenhouses I could get in a round is two. One for the round and one for using this action, which says discard any one good to take one greenhouse or seed at least one time. These actions here is harvest up to two times or take one mushroom. Seed at least two times, which is how you plant and make vegetables. Take one tomato from the supply and seed one time. Market actions are harvest one time and take one lettuce or cauliflower. Take two mushrooms or one carrot. Take two tomatoes or two lettuce. And then the uh, far actions are discard three greenhouses to immediately advance by two tables. Take one service card or discard any three goods to get three identical goods. The last here is discard one greenhouse to immediately advance by one table. And again, the, the object of the game is to advance these tables all the way up to table number five. So that's my goal, is to get to table number five using the pink family and the blue family. I think round one, I will start by using the blue family. I start by getting a free tomato and a free random greenhouse, which this is the rare greenhouse, if you will. It's the only greenhouse that allows for farming of carrots. It's the three slot greenhouse. Okay. Um, take one tomato and seed one time. And if I did this action right away, taking one tomato and seeding one time, the only thing I could seed is tomatoes. And I have the tomatoes to start the game with. And I think I will try something different this round. I think I will take two lettuce. So I get two lettuce. And then I believe I will Oh, you know, I will take Two mushrooms. If I can get them. And then last but not least, I will and I may as well take one tomato and seed one time. Take a tomato and then I'll go ahead and hmm. You know, tomato and lettuce are easy to come by. I wonder if I should seed that mushroom. <laughs> Let's try it. Seeding the mushroom. So when you plant the seed, you use one from your own supply. Then you fill up the rest with the general supply. And that is the work time phase. Now it's the harvest phase. I get to harvest one from each of my greenhouses that has a vegetable, so I get one mushroom. Tourism time is when we actually move the manager marker from one table to another to attract the tourists. So I pay one tomato, pay one lettuce, pay one mushroom, and then there's something called the bonus, which every round you have to use the bonus. If you can't satisfy the needs of the table, you advance to that table and generate whatever that table offers. In this case, one cauliflower. And that stops my movement for the round. Then we move on to round two. Getting one tomato and a random greenhouse. This is a five slot greenhouse, which allows me to farm for mushrooms, tomatoes, and lettuce. Interesting enough, um, the blue family stays out there to block those actions, so now I'm on to the pink family. If you're curious about these cards, these are the service cards. 
that allow me to do different things, like the pitch man here. Whenever you use the market action to take two tomatoes or two lettuce, you also take one good of the uh, other type. So if I get two tomatoes, I can take one lettuce, or if I take two lettuce, I can take one tomato. The carrot patch says whenever I use this ability and don't get a greenhouse, I may take one carrot. Um, that might come in handy. And then the temp here, whenever I use this harvest up to two times or take one mushroom ability, this allows me to also gain one cauliflower. So that's, that's also a pretty good card to generate extra resources. This game is all about resource and time management, and worker management, worker placement. Um, what do I want to do for round two? Well, I know I need a carrot. That's right here. Coming up next, how do I get a carrot? There is nowhere for me to get a carrot. <laughs> I am carrotless. I suppose... Okay, I see what I could do. I can harvest one time. Mushroom. Harvest one time and take one lettuce or cauliflower. I'll take a lettuce. Then, I will take... I will take... This action to take one service card, I will take the temp. Ability again is whenever I use this, I uh, also generate a cauliflower. So I'll put the cauliflower here to remind me. And I think I'm going to use that action right now. Um, to take one mushroom and I also get the cauliflower. So just, I'm just in the mode of generating as much, as many vegetables as I can right now. That was work time. Now it is harvest. I'm bringing home the mushroom. Then it is tourism. I don't have the carrot, so I generate one lonely carrot. But I have a plan for you, carrot. A two tomatoes. A two lettuce. Hey, two mushrooms. Scooting right along now. Paying two cauliflower. And I'm in a pretty good position for next round. I've got a couple of mushrooms left over. I've got one out of the two carrots I need. I think I'm, I think I'm doing all right. And I just placed the pink family, so during homecoming, the blue family comes home. And... We move onward to number three. Again, the solo play is only five rounds. I generate a free tomato. I get a free random. It is a size four garden, which allows me to plant cauliflower as well. I don't have one to plant. I really wish I did. That's okay. How do I want to play this? I believe... I believe, I believe, I believe I need to take two lettuce. I really think I need to take two lettuce. Is that true? Yep, yep indeed it's true. Or I can take a tomato and seed once. The tomato help me. Mm. Yes. Take a tomato and seed once. So I take one tomato from the supply. I will seed this mushroom into many more mushrooms. Gives me a total of five in that greenhouse. Now, I'm going to... I don't know that I just want to take one carrot. I don't see how that helps me. If 
we take two tomatoes. Take two tomatoes. Let's just see how this plays out. And the last action, I know I need to be seeding. I know I do. <laughs> it's like any time I don't, it's what hoses me. Okay, let's just do it. Seed at least two times. Tomato here. Carrot here. Let's see if we just can't make the carrots happen. Pull up for the tomatoes. Hmm. That, as they say, is that. Harvest time, I get a carrot, I get a mushroom, I get a tomato. Tourism time, I'm going to generate two carrots with my bonus. Then three tomatoes. And that's it, stops short, that's where I end up. That was the blue family. There come uh, pink families coming home, and this is round four. I get a tomato. I get a random greenhouse, which is lettuce and tomatoes only in this one. Wow, wow, wow. I suppose, okay, my dilemma is cauliflower. Well, one of my dilemmas right now is lettuce, but. Let me, uh, let's see here. Harvest up to two times. One, two, that's helpful. Oh, and I don't forget, I get a cauliflower when I use this action for my because of my temp. That's good. Two times. Okay. Harvest. Seed. Harvest. Okay, let's try this may work, it may totally blow up in my face, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to harvest up to two times, which gives me this cauliflower back. Harvesting up to two times, I'm going to take the mushroom, tomato. I'm going to discard any one good to take one greenhouse or seed at least one time. I'm going to discard a mushroom. Is that right? Yeah. I'm going to discard a mushroom. See it at least one time. Oh, shoot. Nope. Not right. Because I don't have, I can't harvest, or I can't seed cauliflower here. Okay, drawing board. Back to the drawing board. This. Bowsers. What if I... harvest one time and take a cauliflower? Just one time. Take one cauliflower. Take two mushrooms or one carrot. Feel like. Feel like I should take the carrot. Really feel like I should take the carrot. Hmm. 
I also feel like these are better and I should have invested in another one earlier. I think Pitchman getting lettuce and tomatoes there would be really good. Okay. Um, I can discard any three goods to get uh, identical three goods. But I, I don't see that helping me. Because I don't have an overage. And it's discard three different goods, so I'd have to discard a carrot, a mushroom, and a tomato just to get like three lettuce, for example does not help me. I'm kind of stalled out here. So, do the best I can, which is... Close those. Apparent. I think it's going to be the... I think it's going to be the carrot. Go, playing the long game. See if I can't... Oh, no, 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 no. Two mushrooms. Two mushrooms. I think I've got it handled. If I can handle some other things, I got this handled. Two mushrooms. My third action. So now it's to uh, harvest time. I get a carrot. I get a mushroom. And a tomato. I don't have the lettuce. So I generate three of those. I do have plenty of mushrooms. I took the shortcut. The mushrooms. But then I'm stalled. Just stalled right there. Okay. That was pink family. Blue family comes home. And the blue family pull this off. Round five. All right, blue family, counting on you. I get a tomato. I get a random greenhouse. It is a size three greenhouse again for more carrots. Don't need more carrots. What I need desperately is cauliflower, which the only way I can get it now is going here. So I have to. Oh, wait a minute. Seed at least two times. But I don't have I don't have the ability to harvest at least two times. Okay. Let us do it. Um tomato, carrot. Tomato, carrot. And um, I guess I could do tomato, carrot, cauliflower, and get cauliflower, cauliflower, cauliflower. That way my lettuce isn't messed up. Okay, let's do that. Tomato, carrot, cauliflower. to get three cauliflower. Discard any three different goods to take three identical goods. It doesn't say I have to take a different, fourth different good. Hey. One, two. Lettuce. Have the mushroom. Okay, it's time. Time to discard three greenhouses. These three right here to advance by two tables. I'm going to take two lettuce with this action and feel like I may have just pulled this off. Maybe. That's the end of work time, harvest time. One carrot, one mushroom. Do I have it? Nice and slow. Four tomatoes. 
or tomatoes. Or lettuce. Four mushrooms. One, two, these are hard to see against the table from here. One, two, three, four. Four beautiful mushrooms. Four cauliflower. It's there. Four carrots. One, two, three, four. It's me there. <laughs> and I didn't do it. Oh, I would have this tomato for picking up this card, but one extra tomato does not get me to the five tomato table. That's as far as I got. Wow. This is really challenging. Really fun. Uh, it's about a 24 to 25 minute adventure endeavor. I guess it's not really an adventure. Unless you find farming for vegetables adventurous, but it is endeavorous. And that is the word of the day. Endeavorous. That's going to wrap up this edition of Boardroom Gamer Solo Play Monday. I appreciate you showing up. Hope you had a great time. If you didn't check it out live, be sure to check out the replay on YouTube uh, starting tomorrow. I'll have that up there and edited for you. And uh, I think that's going to do it. So until next time, see you at the next boardroom meeting.